If you have made your home smart using Home Assistant, then the first feature that you need to enable is taking backup of your Home Assistant itself. Now you must be running Home Assistant on some kind of a hardware like Raspberry Pi or a mini PC and these hardwares could fail anytime. So to get back your Home Assistant up and running, you can have these backups being restored. And today we will see how we can create these backups as well as look at how these backups can be uploaded to a Google Drive such that you can restore them whenever you want. So with this, let's get started. Now to start off, let's create a simple backup. So let's go to settings here and under system, we're going to go to backups here. Let's click on create backup. Now here you can specify a backup name or home assistant will generate one for you using the current time and date. The other options that we have is the backup type that is full backup or partial backup. Let's look at the partial backup. Now in this, you can select what you want to actually take as backups, like whether you want the add-ons to be backed up, whether certain folders you want to be backed up or the home assistant instance itself. Now in the case of a full backup, all these options that we have, those will be backed up. But in case of a partial one, you can select what we want. So now let's select a full backup here. And now you can set a protection password for this. So this backup can be then protected using a password. Right now, I'm not going to do this and I'm going to click on create here. So with this, a backup has now been created and it's of around 6.1 MB. And now this is present on your home assistant instance itself. So the storage that the home assistant has, it's created this backup on it. So this is how you can create a simple backup, but you can create a schedule on which this backups can be created. You don't have to do this manually, right? So for this, what you can do is you can go to settings, go to automations and scenes, create a new automation here. And here in the trigger section, you can search for something called as time. So here, let's select this trigger from here and you can set it at a fixed time. Like for example, I would want it to be created at morning 12 o'clock. That is at midnight 12, this will actually trigger this automation. And then in the den section, you can select the backup service. So we have this backup wherein you can specify the full backup or you can specify a partial backup. I'm going to select full backup here and then you can specify some extra information. For example, here you can specify the name, you can specify the password, and this will actually create a backup exactly at midnight at 12 o'clock. So this was a mechanism that I was using. I created this automation, which would create backups on a daily basis, and those were created on the Home Assistant instance itself. But then I got into a problem wherein my SD card got corrupt, and I lost all the backups and I lost the entire Home Assistant instance itself. So then I actually figured out that there is another mechanism with which you can have your backups on a Google Drive. So now let's look at how we can do that using a Google Drive now. Now to create the backups and upload it to Google Drive, we have this community provided add-on which we will install into Home Assistant and let's see how this thing works. So for this, go to settings. In your add-on section, click on add-on store. And here you're going to click on these three dots here and I'm going to click on repositories. Here I'm going to now add this add-on repository now. So when I click on add, this repository will be now added to your Home Assistant add-ons. Now the link to this add-on I will provide you in the article that I will link into the description below. So you can refer to this link directly. So I'm going to close this now and I'm going to refresh this. And then here you will see this Home Assistant Google Drive Backup. Let's click on that and I'm going to click on install. Now this add-on is created by an open source developer. So if you want, you can always support the developer by buying a coffee or you can donate some money so as to support his development work. So now with this, let's wait for this add-on to start. So now the add-on has installed and started. So now what we are going to do is we are going to click on this open web UI. Now here it's going to ask you to authenticate with your Google Drive. So click on this button here and this will redirect you to this login page. Now make sure you're giving permissions to this habackup.io and I'm going to now select my email address here and then I'm going to allow one of the services to access this drive. So I'm going to click on continue and you will get this authorization string. So you can click on copy and then go back to home assistant here and you're going to paste this here and then click on save. 
So with this, now the add-on is able to communicate with the Google Drive itself. Now let's look at some of these options here. Now here you can share the error reports to the developer itself of this add-on. If you want this, you can do this or else you can say no here. Now what I'm going to do is let me go to settings here first of all and let's change this UI to a white background. So I'm going to change this to white and I'm going to click on save. So this is easier for you all to see what I'm doing right now. Now, if you see here, you will find the single backup. So this was the one that we created manually using the backup option inside Home Assistant. Now let's look at some of the configuration settings that we have. So let's go to the settings here and let's scroll up. So first settings that we have here is that we can set the number of backups here. So by default, we get this option of like, you will have four backups inside Home Assistant and four will be uploaded to Google Home. You can always change the Home Assistant backup location using this option here. And then let's look at some of these options. So first one, you can select this if you want the backups to be deleted after it's been uploaded, such that you don't have any local copies on Home Assistant. It will be deleted after it's uploaded to the Google Drive. And then you can have other options like delete the oldest before you can create a new one. Now, these are some of the things that we have. Let's look at some of the important ones. So ignore upgrade backups. So remember, whenever you install or update certain add-ons or whenever you are even installing uh, updates for Home Assistant, you get this option that you want to take a backup of the existing system before it actually updates your system. So this option right now ignores those backups. So those backups will not be included in your uploaded backup to your drive itself. So you can keep this option. This is usually not required to take up as backup. So this is the default one that is there. Now, what we can look at is this option here. So first thing is that by default, it is set to three days. I usually set it to one. So that means every day this will take up a backup. And here you can give the backup time on which you want to actually have this backup being done. Also, along with this, you can specify a password. Now, I would recommend that you specify a password here because we are uploading this to a Google Drive, right? It's always better whatever you're sending over the network is to be password protected. So let's specify a password here. So here I'm going to specify a password and here I'm going to repeat the password again. So I have set in now a password for these backups that are being taken. Now here you can specify the name of the backup. So by default, it's going to take a full backup. That is the type that is full. And then we have the year, month, date, time, and the seconds at which the backups were taken. And with that file name, it will be uploaded to your Google Drive. Now you can always specify a manual backup folder. So this will be the folder name that you can set in your Google Drive such that the backups go to that folder. So by default, this actually creates a folder called as Home Assistant Backup and uploads all those backup files. Now next we have this enable staleness notification. So this is something like when your backups become stale, it will give you a notification inside Home Assistant. And along with these, we have this backup staleness sensor also. So now this is like a sensor on which you can have some kind of an automation or a trigger such that it you can do some kind of reporting or send kind of a notification based on this sensor. So if there is a staleness of your backups being detected, this trigger would cause your automation to get triggered. And then you could probably have some notification being sent using probably like Telegram. Now, if you want to see how you can send notifications using Telegram, I have a video linked somewhere here wherein I've shown you how you can send notifications to your Telegram chat such that you can have Home Assistant send notifications to Telegram even when the Home Assistant is not available on the internet. Now let's go down to the next options here. I usually enable this keep generational backups. So what are these generational backups? So these are the options that you can set such that you have certain generations of backup being kept. Like you can have a backup that has been kept one day old, then a one week old backup. You can keep a one month old backup or even one year old backup. Now these generational schedules that we have, we can then restore our home assistant to those points in the past. So if I set like, for example, one day here, one week here and one month, on the first day of the month and say two years. What this means is that we will have one backup, which is one day old. We will have one backup, which will be one week old. We will have one backup, which will be one month old. And we will have one backup, which will be seven years old. Sorry, this changed to seven. I don't know how, 
but let's consider two. So here with these options, you can have like a generational backup. And I would recommend having this kind of way of doing things because then you can have an older backup. You can always keep it up to a month. I think keeping up to a month is pretty good and uh, you don't need to keep it up to years. It all depends on what exactly you want. So with this, you can enable generational backups and have some generations of backup being kept inside your Google Drive itself. Now, the next option that we have here is that you can exclude the Home Assistant database backups. So all your sensor data that is there, which is the historic data of your sensors, they are put into the Home Assistant database. If you want, you can exclude that, but I would say not to exclude them and keep this option unchecked. Now, partial backups. Remember, we have two types of backups, full and partial. So if you don't enable this option here, then by default, it will allow for full backup of your home assistant itself. If you want partial backups, you can obviously click on this and select here what are the partial backups that you want to take. So I will keep this as full backups. And with this, we have all the options that are very much important to configure this Google Drive backup mechanism. Now, further from this, you have a lot of other options like you can set certain bandwidth limit. For example, if you have a limited connection, then you can set in certain bandwidth limit here and some other options related to the network here. So with all of these options that we just set, I'm going to right now click on save here. Now my settings have been saved. Let's actually go and see if this backup has been uploaded to our Google Drive. Right now, it is showing that this has been backed up. So let's go to our Google Drive here. I'm going to open my drive. And then here, if you see, the file is there. So let me go to my drive. And here you can see the Home Assistant backups option here. So let me open this. And this is the first backup that it has now uploaded. Let's go ahead and create a manual backup. Like for example, I'm going to click on this actions option here. And I'm going to say backup now. And with this, I'm not going to specify anything. And I'm just going to click on create backup. So now this will create a backup right now and then afterwards it will upload it to the Google Drive. So if you see here, it has uploaded this backup and you can see this key icon here specifying that this backup was password protected. The first one that we created, remember, using the manual mechanism, it was not password protected, so it's not showing anything over here. And if you see, it's telling you when was the last backup that was created as well as the next backup cycle. Because remember in the settings, we set up that we want one backup to be taken every day. So the days between the backups is one. So the next one will be created in 24 hours. Now, these were all the options that we have for configuring this backup mechanism using the Google Drive. But now you did all the backups, you have all the backups. How do you restore them? Let's look at that part now. Now to restore the backup, what we have to do is first of all, download this backup from here. So let me download this backup right now. So I'm going to download this and I'm going to download the file. So now next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to home assistant and I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go down to systems and then go down to backups option. And here on top, you have these three dots here. Click on this and click on upload backup. And here you will find the backup file and then you can open this. Now remember, I had specified a password in my config such that all the backups are configured with a password. So I'm going to now specify the password here. And with this, I'm going to click on restore. So now during the restore, it will restart Home Assistant, apply the entire backup, and then your Home Assistant will be restored to this point of time. So now let this restart right now. So now with this home assistant has restarted and we have restored home assistant with this backup. Now, if the backup is listed here, you can always select it and then you can do a restore from here, specifying the password if you have set one. Now, this is a way that you can do an entire backup of your home assistant onto a Google Drive. Now, apart from this, you can always have your backups being taken on a NAS drive. You can connect a NAS drive to Home Assistant and then have your backups configured onto this NAS drive. Now, if you want to create your own NAS drive using a Raspberry Pi, I have a video linked somewhere here wherein I will show you how you can create your own NAS drive using a Raspberry Pi. Now, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments below as well as make sure to hit that like button as well as hit that subscribe button for more such videos to come. And if you want to support this channel, you can always buy me a coffee or support me via Patreon with the links that are present into the description below. 
With this, I would also like to thank my first Patreon subscriber for supporting this channel. So, till then, take care and I will see you in my next one.